I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Long Vuong, the CEO of TomoChain. Long, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Thank you for having me here. You're very welcome. I'd love to learn a little bit about TomoChain. First of all, in your words, Long, what is the TomoChain project and blockchain all about? I think for TomoChain, uh, we aim to be one of the most decentralized, scalable, and also privacy preserving public chain for the next maybe like 50, 100 years. Wow, that's a great long term vision. Now, does your blockchain compete directly with other uh, application based Turing complete networks like Ethereum? I think the own smart contract platform compete with each other for developer or project in some way. But uh, for TomoChain, that's the reason we focus on some uh, particular feature that is uh, unique to TomoChain, such as uh, TomoX, uh, decentralized exchange protocol, TomoZ, which is a free by any token protocol. We, we hope that differentiate TomoChain from as a, a smart contract mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And I read that TomoChain has an interesting consensus protocol, some kind mm -hmm. of proof of stake. Could you speak a little bit about that? Mm. That's also very one of the very important feature of TomoChain, which we use a consensus called POSV, which, which is the proof of stake voting. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, that's, uh, our unique consensus is uh, powering the Masternode ecosystem in which uh, on the on the token holder can can volunteer to to be a master node candidate and being voted by community and then help with uh, producing block and secure the network mm -hmm. interesting so people are able to stake their coins to help secure the network and verify the transactions that's exactly what how it you know supposed to work and it's mm -hmm. working on TomoChain. That's uh, great. So far. And how long has the development been going for TomoChain so far? And when did the mainnet launch? We have been working on TomoChain since uh, early 2017, so it, it is it's quite a long way already. Uh, our public uh, mainnet was launched in December 2018. And it has been running stable for, I think, seven months so far. And um, I think so, we are working really hard in 2019 to bring out some really new and exciting feature like uh, free by any token protocol and decentralized exchange protocol on top of uh, the mainnet, the running mainnet of TomoChain. That's great. So you're looking at building a token protocol so that companies developing applications can create Tomo tokens essentially. One of the one of the most exciting feature we have is uh, Tomo Z protocol, free by any token. So it essentially allowing for any enterprise or you know company with very big uh, user user community to issue token for their own community. For example, like a big coffee shop uh, can issue like one hundred thousand token and send it to their community. And the community can actually use the token right away without knowing or owning a Tomo to pay in gas because they can pay the gas in their own token. Hmm. Yeah, that is a major limit limitation currently with Ethereum. So that's hmm. interesting to note that you're able to pay the gas fees with tokens. That's been a major setback so far in the blockchain industry. Uh, now, does Tomo chain being its own blockchain need its own wallet infrastructure exchanges and mm -hmm. so on to support the ecosystem. Uh, definitely, we uh, when we launch the public chain, we try to work with as a third party wallet or party, third party developer to support Tomo chain. So currently, you can use Toon in Ethereum like MetaMask and Truffle to build application on top of TomoChain as well. And we have third party developer, uh, third party project like Just Wallet, Kobo Wallet, also supporting Tomo. Uh, internally, we are running and building some uh, 
uh, important application such as uh, Tomo Master, the governance DApp, Tomo Scan, and um, uh, Tomo Wallet. Interesting. And when applications are developed on top of Tomo Chain, and you're also able to use tokens to pay the gas, normally, when compared to the Ethereum blockchain, the ethers are used as gas for transactions, mm -hmm. and that's one of the main utilities of the coin. Now, mm -hmm. is that the same with the Tomo coin as well, that it's mainly mm -hmm. used for gas, or is it used for other things as well in the ecosystem? Mm -hmm. So, um, transaction and activity on Tomo chain still need Tomo uh, to be gas, right? So the more activity, the, the bigger smart contract, you, you run, the, the more amount of Tomo you will need. But there are two things. The first thing is that um, the, the scalability solution of Tomo Chain allow us to have the capacity about 1,000 times bigger than Ethereum. So the fee is very low. Uh, in a, just, that, that means we can afford to have the fee very low in Tomo, with Tomo Chain. And uh, secondly, for example, with the Tomo Z protocol, uh, we, we, have, we have a mechanism in which the token issuer have to deposit Tomo in, a, in an account. And that account will set the own of the fee uh, needed for the token to be transacted in their community without knowing Tomo. And that, that's how it works uh, at the Kaplan underlying layer. Mm -hmm. But in general, activity on Tomo chain still need Tomo as uh, what is happening in Ethereum. Okay, understood. And is the development language or the process in which people develop applications at <clears> all <throat> similar to Ethereum um, or have interoperability mm. with the Ethereum ecosystem because that's where most of the dApps are built currently? Mm. We purposely keep uh, using Solidity, solidity as uh, as a couple of application language because uh, we we saw that uh, there's there's a lot of my share in the developer community about solidity and it's it's a, it will be the way to go for tomo chain at least in the near future but we also have a plan to support other language like web assembly when it's um, become more popular so the goal is uh, just to make it uh, very easy and a frictionless for a developer to build application on top of Tomo Chain. That's great. And how many uh, developers are working on Tomo Chain applications right now? Is there any applications that are finished and are available um, mm. in the market? So the, the three most popular applications on top of Tomo Chain right now is uh, Tomo Master, uh, Tomo Swap which is uh, a decentralized exchange uh, application, okay. which is built by a third party team. That is mm -hmm. already completed and, and uh, running live for some time. The, the, the last one is uh, a, a gambling game called uh, you know, Macbeth, which mm -hmm. is also developed by a third party team. That's great. And do you guys have major plans to expand um, the scalability or the core blockchain of, of Tomo chain throughout the next year? So right now, Tomo chain is capable of handling around 2,000 transactions per second. Uh, that's, that's what we have in the, in the thread test. And it's, it's more than enough for most majority of applications at the moment. Uh, if you think about it, the Ethereum is doing have like around 17 transactions per second. So 1,000, 2,000 transactions per second is already more than 10 weeks improvement. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, research into sharding. Uh, yep. that's, that, will pro that will probably be kept like a long term solution for further scalability. But mm -hmm. we are not rushing to implement uh, the solution in the main app because uh, the reason is because we, we have the spare capacity right now at the moment. Yeah. And, uh, the second is that we focus on some of the very practical feature like Tomo X, decentralized HN protocol and Tomo Z, free by any token, free by any token protocol in 2019. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, um, is 
there a specific business model that is built into mm -hmm. Tomo Chain? You know, as the company progresses, eventually you'll need to generate cash flows and revenue models. What is the plan for Tomo Chain? I think the revenue model for Tomo Chain company is uh, mostly around uh, Tomo Chain public chain. And uh, we are building a lot of uh, integration service and uh, support enterprise to build on top of public chains. That's where I have like the revenue coming in. I think the model is similar to what Red Hat is doing, right? So Red Hat have Linux, uh, Linux system and they are building a lot of support and uh, service around Linux. And that's what we are doing with, uh, uh, with Turbo Chain, public chain and the company. Uh, we're building a lot of tool and service to support enterprise to onboard to mm -hmm. Interesting. And now moving forward, what do you see as one of the largest challenges that Tomo Chain may face as it grows? Is it needing mm -hmm. more developers or needing more end users? End user is definitely uh, one of the big challenge, not just for Tomo Chain, but also for a uh, cryptocurrency uh, industry, right? Mm -hmm. Because if we are looking at uh, a statistic from you know the app radar or the app.com the most popular the app is have have less than 10000 user daily right so it is small number so i guess uh, that's what we try to focus on bringing interesting and useful application that can gain that like mainstream user in the next maybe one or two years mm -hmm. and how much emphasis do you put on the user experience and lowering the technical barriers to entry of Tomo Chain because that's one of the main barriers to adoption is having something that's mm. too technical. I think so. One of the you know most easy to use and uh, you know just very good UX uh, in general. We we have is a Tomo Wallet. We have a lot of. Uh, Complement from the community when they use our our, our wallets, mm. and um, we try to bring that experience to other application as well. I think yeah, you are right. That's, uh, you know we we have to make it in a way that um, the end user have equal or even better experience than using the app on decentralized application, decentralized blockchain than the kind like the centralized counterpart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And what do you need most right now? Is it more investors, mm -hmm. more developers, or more other team members or end users? Um, that's an interesting question. We definitely are always welcoming uh, developer and new project building on top of Tomo Chain. Uh, I feel like uh, what Tomo Chain is uh, somewhat lacking is uh, we have been not paying yeah, enough attention to to cap like to 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 marketing and to so to make Tomo Chain get getting more and wider recognition from the community. So we mm. we want to do it in the next six months of the year, bringing out some of the most important feature of the protocol, and also you know talking to more developer uh, to be on top of Tomo Chain. Wonderful. And how can people find out more about the project? If you want to know more about TomoChain, feel free to visit our website, which is at TomoChain.com. And uh, furthermore, join our Telegram channel, uh, TomoChain. And uh, we have a wonderful community who can uh, uh, discuss and uh, answer all of your questions. I'll leave those links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your time, Long. Uh, let's follow up in the near future to see the progress of TomoChain. Thank you so much, Aston. It's my pleasure to talk with you.